Austin. I am the teen librarian at Brambleton Library. And today we are going to make some gilded book edges. Now, this is a craft that you can use to sort of make it, make a, an older book spiffy or maybe get a newer book and paint it as a gift for someone. It's kind of a fun craft and it makes the books look very cool, as you can see. Um, we are today going to be using some different materials that I am going to go over in a second, but if you would like to, you can come to the Teen Center at Brambleton Library and you can pick up your own take and make kit where we'll give you the paints you need, a brush, and a book that you can use. These books are all older books that we can't use in the library anymore, but would love to find a new home with you. And uh, let's get started. So these are the things that you will need in order to do the gilded edges for your book. First, you're going to want acrylic paints. You want the ones that come in the bottle, not the ones that come in the tube, because the acrylic paints that come in the tube are going to be too thick and going to take too long to dry. Next thing you'll need are clamps or a giant stack of books. You can use either one, but you need to have something compressing the pages of the book so the paint doesn't leak through. You'll need some water to rinse your brushes between the different colors. You'll need brushes. Um, you can use a foam brush or you can use just your standard brush that's about this size, maybe mm, an inch uh, large in terms of the bristles. You'll also need some sort of tape. I have drafting tape, which I like using because it doesn't stick to the book that much. You can also use masking tape or painter's tape. If you use either one of those, it can help to take a piece and then stick it against something that has lint on it, like your jeans or your, your shirt um, sleeve, something like that, uh, just in order to make sure that it's not too sticky. Then you'll also need a book. And here we have All the Stars and Teeth. It is a young adult fantasy novel. It is excellent. If you would like to read this book or other books like it, you can always go to our catalog at catalog.library.loudon.gov and just see what we have, which is a lot of cool stuff. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our project. So you're going to take your tape. Um, as I said, I am using drafting tape and I have removed the dust cover from the book. So it's just the naked hardback. And what you want to do is take your tape and rip off a piece that is about the length of this edge. It doesn't have to be exact because this tape is not staying on. It just needs to be long enough. So then you're gonna go ahead and stick it just on the edge there. And fold it over. This is what's going to protect the book from the paint. So you wanna make sure that you do a good job taping and you have complete coverage of all of the edges. And don't forget the spine as well. Now that the book edges have all been taped, I'm going to go ahead and put the clamps on the book. Now I'm using clamps so that I can move the book around more easily so that I can show you guys more easily. If you are not filming something to show other people, you can just stack a couple of dictionaries or something on top of the book and then move around yourself. Um, but for today, I will be using clamps. I just got these clamps off Amazon. You can get them at Home Depot or something like that if, some, if this is something that you decide that you want to keep doing just for fun. So because I'm using these clamps, I'm going to just use this old paper to cushion the, the book 
a little bit so that I don't have any dents in the cover once I'm done. All right, now those clamps are on and I'll be able to move them around as I paint. Hi everybody, my name is Troy Wingard and I'm going to demonstrate to you a few simple techniques that will ensure that your book edge painting project is gonna have some really awesome results. Now, this is a project that's gonna require that you work rather slowly and that you apply the paint to your book edge in a series of very thin coats. Now, a few of you out there may be tempted to apply your paint in thick and heavy globs to cover your book edge as quickly as possible. But the problem with this is that the paint that's used for this project is made with an acrylic polymer, which means that if you paint your edges way too thick, the paint is gonna harden like a glue and when it dries and you won't be able to open your book. To prevent this from happening, we're gonna use a painting technique known as dry brushing. Now the dry brush, you're simply gonna load your brush with paint. And then you're gonna lightly brush off the excess paint onto another surface. So that way only a small amount of paint is left in the bristles of the brush. Okay, now starting with the spine of the book, you want to apply as much paint over the book edge as possible. And you want to keep brushing it on until you completely run out of paint. Then you want to go ahead and load your brush again and you want to dab it out just like I told you until you have a very little paint left onto your brush and then you want to just kind of continue this across the, the edge of the, the pages. Now it may look a little thin, but that's okay. You want to continue doing this all the way around the edges of the book until you hit the edge of the spine here. By that time, that's your first coat. By that time, it should be enough or dry enough for you to, to go around and to put a second and even a third coat on. And this is going to ensure that you've put a very thin layer of paint over the entire edge of your book. All right guys, so it may take as many as three or four thin coats to completely cover your book edge, but this is gonna ensure that you are correctly building up thin layers of paint and that your project is gonna look great when it's finished. I went ahead and painted all three sides of the pages of the book and let it sit there for five to 10 minutes. Longer isn't going to hurt it and the amount of time you need to let it sit is going to depend on the brand of paint you're using. You might have to do a little bit of trial and error. It's always better to wait longer and maybe not have had to than to accidentally end up painting over wet paint. So now that our paint is nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add the gilding. Because of the colors of the uh, dust cover, I have decided to go with a silver paint to put on this. You can also use gold or pearl, pretty much anything that is more metallic. You want to stay away from glitter paints because the flakes of glitter will end up coming off when you actually uh, peel the pages apart once you're done. So I don't advise using glitter paint, but any sort of metallic shimmery sort of paint is a good thing to use. The key to this is to put on not very much because you can always go ahead and add more. You cannot go ahead and take it off. So I'm just scraping the teeniest little bit of silver paint over here and you can actually use less than this and it'll look perfectly fine. And then once it dries, if you think that it could be a little bit shinier, you can go through and add a little bit more until you're happy. And it's not going to hurt the book if you add different layers because of these clamps that we have on there. Or if you are opting for the squish the book with the dictionary method, same thing. We're keeping the inside of the book safe by 
applying that pressure. We waited about 20 minutes for this to dry just to give it that little extra time since we are now going to start uh, our last step, which is separating the pages. So acrylics, as Troy explained, are basically plastic. So although we have made our book very pretty, we've also stuck the pages together. So the last thing that we have to do for this craft is unstick those pages. Now you're going to want to open the book first so that the cover is separated. Just like that. And then you're gonna wanna, don't worry, this, this damage right here is not from the painting. This is a uh, bargain book. Um, so then you're going to want to just take this chunk of pages and bend it like that. And if you like books, your heart might be breaking just a little bit, but don't worry, the book is going to be okay. We're just gonna bend it that other direction. And now we can go ahead and start carefully separating the pages individually. Be very careful while you're doing this, especially if you have a take and make kit or you're using an older book, because the older the book, the less crisp the pages are. So they're more inclined to just rip a teeny tiny bit while you're peeling the pages apart. It's perfectly, you're going to be able to do it perfectly fine. You just want to take that extra little bit of care to make sure that your pages stay in one piece. So here we go. As you can see, I went ahead and took the tape off. I was very careful in taking that tape off. If you do it too quickly, you can uh, peel some of the very top of the uh, book edges off. I don't like to do that, so I took my time, had some patience, and here we go. Gilded book. Again, if you would like your own take and make, if you don't want to supply your own materials, you can come in to the Brambleton Teen Center and we can give you a kit with everything you'll need. So thank you for watching this all the way through and I hope that you enjoy your newly gilded book.